So one of our favorite salads to make almost any time of the year is a chef's salad. Now it's a little bit more of a heavy salad. It's an American salad with cheese and um, boiled eggs and all kind of good things in there. Now I'm going to use some of this lettuce that I'm growing in the green stock leaf planter. Now first I'll harvest some of this frisee here and I have been using the leaf now since spring and it has been growing great. If you're not familiar with it, it has um, seven tiers and 42 pockets which are seven inches deep and they are on sale right now at Greenstock until July 19th and you can use my code Rainbow Gardens at checkout to get an additional $10 off so head on over there I'll leave information down below the video and then I grabbed some of this arugula here which looked beautiful and then here in the middle of July Still growing is my Batavia lettuce, which is very heat tolerant. Um, I think at some point it will succumb to the heat, probably here in August, maybe late July, but right now it's looking really nice, and the type of Batavia I'm growing is called French Crisp. So I'll just take off this entire head here, and this is how I've been harvesting it, just taking out one head at a time, and, and then we'll go inside and give everything a really good wash. And now I want to head out to my driveway where I am growing cucumbers in containers. And I like to plant two seeds per three gallon container. I put those in a wash bin and keep about one to two inches of water in that wash bin so that the cucumbers will not dry out. Cucumbers love a lot of water and I found that's the easiest way to make sure they're getting an adequate amount of water is to just put the container in a wash bin. And then in the square foot garden, some of these really sweet, wonderful tomatoes are coming in. Perfect for the salad today. These are the little Matt's Wild Cherry here. And then I had just harvested some of the sun sugar. So those will be perfect. And then the last thing I need from my garden or from the yard, as you can see here, are some eggs. And so from my first chicken coop where I have three chickens, I'll grab a couple of eggs here and then see what's in the other one. Well, there's a chicken laying her egg, but I'll gather up whatever I can from her. And right now we're getting anywhere from about five to seven eggs a day. So I'm, hard, I'm looking for all kinds of different recipes for eggs. Now to complement my salad, all of these other ingredients came from a grocery store called Aldi. And this here is my absolute favorite bacon from anywhere. So I love this bacon. You can get it in applewood smoked or hickory smoked. If you haven't tried it before, give it a try. It will take any dish that you are using bacon in to the next level. I promise it's so good. And the way I like to use it for salads is I will just take the slab like you see here and I'll just cut it down into little pieces. And that way when it cooks, it is evenly cooked all the way around versus um, you know, just cooking slices and then chopping those up. Those just don't seem to do as well for my salads for some reason. So this works out great. And then what I like to do is cook the bacon along with the eggs at the same time. And I'll um, put those maybe in the fridge until I'm ready to make the salad. So you can make a lot of these ingredients at one time and have several salads throughout the week and you are good to go. And now for the meat that we enjoy in the salad is usually chicken. So I'll use a deli meat chicken like you see here on the left. Um, or sometimes if I want to take that extra step, I'll cook some chicken breast fillets. And that's really good in the salad too. Now this makes a real good hearty meal. So um, this is not a little wimpy salad. So my husband loves these salads. But today I'm going to take the shortcut and just use the deli meat. I also really like reusing these little containers that the deli meat comes in because I use that for my chicken stock that I make about once a month. So I'll just freeze it in those little containers and there you go. You'll also need some cheese for the salad. You can grate some fresh uh, cheddar. I typically use sharp cheddar and then these little clubhouse crackers are really good or sometimes if I want to take that extra step I'll make some garlic toast. Now when I grow my lettuce I like the big leaves versus growing the tiny leaves and then I'll just tear those. Sometimes at the base of these bigger leaves though they can tend to get a little bit bitter there at the rib. 
but um, no worries I'll just go ahead and tear these down put a little bit of the frisee in here along with some of the arugula now these arugula leaves are really big but no worries there either I'll just tear the leaves right off the rib too and then all of my scraps go in the compost bin where they'll find their way into the compost tumbler and then back into the garden Aldi sells little bags of sweet onions and I just really like their onions they're very mild so I will just use a little bit of that chopped onion in the salad along with some of this Persian cucumber which I think you can also get that at Aldi and then dress it with a little bit of a creamy dressing I like ranch dressing you can find that at Aldi as well and then we'll just toss our greens in there now if I'm making this salad ahead of time sometimes I'll make it in the middle of the day for our dinner that evening I will not dress my greens I'll dress the entire salad um, at, right before we eat it so on go the tomatoes which I cut in half so they're a little more juicy the chicken the boiled egg the cheese and the bacon bits and finally just a little bit of pepper I love some black pepper on here and there you go I hope you guys can give this a try and maybe you got an idea or two for your next salad thank you so much for watching and y'all have a beautiful day